what when if a business owner were considering hiring personnel as an mm -hmm. attorney, what advice would you give them um, in making this decision? I think it would be important to consult with a, an attorney to find out what employ uh, status as an employer means in terms of the additional requirements that are going to be placed on you. Um, you're going to have to have an employer tax identification number. You're going to want to consider a formal employee handbook. You're going to want to uh, consider what role the employee plays. Is it actually an employee or is it what's called an independent contractor? There are um, different types of uh, classifications about what type of work that individual is going to be doing that might designate um, the employee as a traditional employee or an independent contractor and there's consequences of both, tax consequences, um, control consequences and things like that. If, if for example an employer were to hire someone and just call them a contractor to keep away from the paperwork, <laughs> is that easy to do or should they <laughs> reconsider? It's easy to do that, um, but it doesn't have any uh, substantive meaning in terms of whether that person is actually a contractor or an employee. Suppose the IRS determines, well, this person really is not a contractor, this person is an employee. Then what are the results of that? The tax implications would be um, going back to the beginning of your relationship with that uh, contractor, so you'd be you would the... be charged, yes. They would go back and um, look at everything as if, regardless of the title, that was an employee. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm aware of two tests that you can use yourself to determine whether a person is actually an employee or a bona fide contractor. Uh, the ABC test and the 12-point test. Does an employer have to meet all of the criteria for both of these? No. Um, those are guidelines and the more of them that you can satisfy and show that you've considered and follow, the stronger your case, but um, some of them may or may not apply in a certain situation, but for the most part you should really try to meet those. And if I may, uh, there's a website, colorado.gov, that does provide some information on all of the topics actually that we're discussing, but it does provide the, the kind of considerations you'd want to look at in determining whether employment or contractor status is in your best interest. Okay.